afternoon everybody, my name's Duncan White, I'm here at Intersect 2023 in Dubai and I'm delighted to be joined by Vinay Shethbandi. Vinay, good afternoon. Hi Duncan, it's my pleasure. Vinay and I were um, together earlier today and taking part in a panel discussion and uh, we were looking at sustainability within uh, the fire industry and uh, what we looked at was how engineers and fire professionals should be looking at sustainability through the whole life of the building and one of the areas that, that Vinay was uh, was covering was sustainability and fire suppression so what can the, the viewers be looking forward to in relation to sustainability and fire suppression Vinay? Talk about sustainability particularly in relation to fire at the outset basically when we talk about sustainability in itself the first thing that is known to people is all about energy. It's all uh, green buildings, it's all about uh, talking about energy only and the certification schemes, the point systems, everything talks more on the energy side. But not just about energy, but it's about fire safety also equally plays an important role uh, in creating the sustainable environment. and. The key word here is not just sustainability, but creating a resilient environment, environment, basically. And when it comes to fire protection as a whole, we do design our buildings or we do operate our buildings primarily as a life safety, but then uh, also for property protection and continuity of business. Uh, we have means of egress and type of construction. And then when it comes to sustainability, the entire focus then shifts immediately to the materials uh, that are used or that are being innovated uh, but then at the same time the fire protection system also equally plays an important role within the whole sustainability and as I highlighted uh, previously during our discussions also when it comes to fire protection system particularly the automatic fire suppression systems water is still a predominant uh, component of it but as we all know, at some point of time, water is going to get scared. Today I was joined by uh, Susan Lamont from Arup and also Stephen Riley from Kundal. And uh, we had a good, uh, a good 35 minute session and there were some interesting questions that, uh, that came from the audience. And one thing that we uh, chatted about in the end was the responsibility of the building owners, the building managers and where um, facilities management plays a part and it was interesting our thoughts on facilities management do you just want to uh, give a little bit of where we think that the responsibility lies and how we get that into into the overall strategy of the building 99 percent of the life of the uh, building is being actually used by the facilities managers or the uh, end users who actually uses that building and if all that design aspects of sustainability is not rightly passed on to them or if they are not made uh, part of the design team the uh, the focus was on sustainability we were looking at working towards the carbon net zero I'm Duncan White. I'm delighted to have been joined by Vinay Feshbandi and we hope you enjoy the panel debate. Thank you.